Hey, how's it going? Thanks to you, thanks you, thanks you, what the hell? Thanks you. Thank you for watching my awesome video on how I made my ESP8266 programmer. And the reason I made this programmer was because I didn't want to have to be soldering wires to this one and that one. Blah, blah, blah. And I wanted to have an easy way to just power it up and test it and play with it, you know. And since these boards are so cheap, I mean, I bought a few, like a 25 of them for about 50 bucks on eBay. So I think I might just end up making my uh, toilet seat have Wi-Fi or something. All the parts cut for this programmer are made out of 1 8 inch acrylic. So first I get the wrapping wire and I fold it 16, no, well not 16 times. I fold it 8 times so I get 16 wires. Does that make sense? I don't think that makes sense. Well you get 16 wires, fold it as many times so you get 16 wires. And then after that cut your heat shrink tubing to small pieces so that after you wrap this wire like I'm doing here around the pogo pins, you can heat shrink that around. So what I learned from making the first one is do not wrap the wires all in the same place. <laughs> because then they'll be too tight and they won't want to go into place. But yeah, so just wrap some on the top and the bottom. I mean, right here, I guess you don't really have to wrap it in the right place because they move up and down. But when you solder them, like I'm doing here, you see how I have w the one on the left, I have it, well, now it's on the bottom, but it was on the top. And don't add too much solder because once you add the heat shrink, it makes them pretty thick and then it's hard to put them in the proper holes so just solder all of the pogo pins with the wrapping wire on them just make sure they're not in the same spot and uh, after you're done with that then we'll get the heat shrink and we will wrap them all up look let's see yeah, like this so just make sure not to put the heat shrink all the way to the top or all the way to the bottom because then they won't slide into their holes and uh, also, I use black heat shrink for the negative wire and red heat shrink for the positive wire, like I did there. See, so you'll see I used a, uh, a heat gun, or not a heat gun, a heat, whatever the hell it's called. Or you can use a lighter, whatever, you know, whatever works to shrink the tube. Yeah, see, taking forever, you know. Come on, quick, quick, quick. Hey, there we go. So after you heat shrink all of them, get that shit out the way, you know, and we'll get all the parts together here. And the first thing I did was put the screws through the top, make sure the text is facing up, and uh, cause if not, you'll wire everything backwards. And the glue I used to make the connection here, or glue them in, whatever the hell you wanna call it, is uh, Plasti Struck Bonding. Works awesome for all sorts of, uh, all sorts of plastics and acrylics and uh, and uh, they don't pay me so I'm gonna stop talking about them <laughs> <laughs> and uh, after you get those two put in glued in whatever you're gonna want to put the pogo pins into the holes be sure to put the positive side on the positive side and the ground side on the ground side and what I did is I pushed all the pins through and then I wrapped the wires around uh, one of the legs there or one of the standoffs just so they would be out of the way and then what I did next is I wrapped the wire halfway around the little leg that it's gonna be around and then I cut it and stripped it and I used a wire wrapping tool so that I wouldn't have to solder every single one of the legs or if I wanted to take it off or change it or something I wouldn't have to go back and I could just unwrap it. And um, the way it's set up here is you're gonna wrap the same leg to the same pogo pin. I don't know if that makes sense, but look at this diagram here and it'll tell you if that makes sense. And also add a wire between EN and VCC and add a separate wire between GPIO 15 and ground. And then whenever you flash it, you can just jump GPIO zero and ground. And here I'm adding the uh, FTDI serial converter. And either you can do it like this or you can integrate it into the actual acrylic housing like I did with, um, come on, where's it at? Yeah, we're done looking at this one, on to the next. Like this one. 
And what I did here is I just wired everything beneath it. Uh, ground, positive, uh, TX, RX, RX, TX. So I wouldn't have to add any jumper wires and just plug it in when it's ready to go. I just add a uh, jumper between GPIO zero and ground and I can program that right over the computer and then just swap out the board. If you would like one, I'm gonna be selling them on uh, lasergoods.co. I'll put a link in the description. Uh, you can buy it as a kit or you can just buy the acrylic. I'll put a link here on the screen as well. And if you would like to make your own or have any uh, ideas, uh, be sure to leave them in the comments. Thanks for watching my blurry video. Uh, <laughs> if you like, be sure to subscribe and give the video a thumbs up. Thank you.